Let's Drink Apple Cider to Rent a Girlfriend, chapters 173 and 174. All right, guys, it has been a while, but I'm back. Thank you so much for being here with me today for today's episode of Rent a Girlfriend, chapters 173 and 174. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the reaction. Oh my! Chapter 173, The Girlfriend and the Confession, Part 2. And this color panel! It looks so, so good, so good! Oh my god, what does it say? Out shopping for dinner. She plans to eat alone. But whose face springs to mind? Okay, okay! I hope it's Kazuya's. The Kanojo Okarishimas series has 7 million copies in circulation. Agreeing to lunch, getting drunk at Saize, something's off about Mizuhara. So they're sitting at Saize and <laughs> her face is just, just great, just, just great. This is not drinking responsibly. Uh, what, what the? What's your deal, Mizuhara? You're acting strange. Your eyes are kind of droopy, and your cheeks are red. It's kind of cute. She's drunk. She's drunk right now. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Hey. What's up? There's something written there. What's that? Huh? Oh, this? I guess it's Italian for fish or something. <laughs> huh? I bought it in the gift shop at my favorite aquarium. It caught my eye. You buy your clothes in an aquarium gift shop? Hmm. Don't tell me. Your taste sucks. This outfit is lame too. She's gonna make fun of me. <laughs> You're just all about the fish stuff, aren't you? Huh? Like, I get it. You like fish, but getting it as a logo? <laughs> and why the heck is it Italian? You don't have to laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It just seemed funny to me. Okay, so since when is she like this? This kind of stuff never makes her laugh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was rude of me. Let me settle down. <sighs> what the hell? Whew. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't. <laughs> He's probably just getting completely lost in his gaze. She's just a cutie patootie. She's too cute. Are they for real? The family-sized tiramisu is gigantic. It feeds six people. Is she just laughing at anything? She's laughing like a little kid. So, Mizuhara's a giggly drunk? Cute. Drunk Mizuhara's so cute. I can't believe she's laughing so hard around me. <laughs> I don't want this moment to end. The perfect married couple. I wish it would last another 60 years. But this is new. She's had drinks on rental dates with me. They do say it's not about how much you drink. And she was stone cold at that party. I'm the one who got hammered. But then, does that mean she's letting loose around me? Hey, um, is this okay? Us having lunch like this? Hmm? Inviting you like this. In the past, I wouldn't have really expected... Hmm? Like I said, it's too late for me to start complaining now. And I was hungry. There's no deeper meaning behind it. Sure, the agency doesn't know about us. But we just happen to be fellow students and neighbors. And not even Ruka-chan could throw a fit about you having a little lunch with a neighbor. Yeah. True. So, there's no deeper meaning. You called? Yeah, so I'd like the hazelnut dessert, huh? And some chocolate shake. Huh? You're getting two? Yeah, so, me? Hick. Yeah. I was just wondering, you know, from a calorie perspective. Well, Grandma's gone, so I'm not exactly on a deadline anymore. I'll get back on the wagon. Tomorrow. This is such like a, like a passive look to the sky. I don't know. She's, I have, 
I have some big hopes for tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Maybe it's like like some big day she's expecting. I don't know. Let's see. Mizuhara. That's kind of out of character for her. If you keep putting things off, then you're just babying yourself. Then again, she's been burning the candle at both ends. All to make her dream a reality. When you really want something, you should put everything else aside and chase it. Life's more fun that way. Only fools have regrets. Well, if she's ever earned it, it's now. But wow, even she's got her vulnerable moments. I bet she wishes she had someone to support her at times like these. Like a boyfriend. <laughs> I wish I could be the one. I wonder what's gonna happen next. I'm like, I'm about to scroll my little mouse, but oh my goodness, let's see. Tell me the truth. Do you have feelings for me? Okay, she's drunk, but I'm still excited. I'm still excited. What's about to happen? What's about to happen? What's about to happen? What's about to happen? Oh my goodness, look at his face! Look at his face! He's like looking down, he's like, wait, wait. Is this happening? Is this real life? Is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. Are you sure about this? Did she just, 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 just ask me that? Look at this, look at this panel! The white background, they're just, they're, oh my goodness. Tell me the truth, do you have feelings for me? Oh my goodness, this is it, this is the moment! What is he gonna say? Huh? She moves her wine glass. She looks at him directly, like, 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 she's serious. She's staring through my soul, guys, are you feeling this? Huh? Where did, did, did that come from? Did you just say what I think she said? Why, why that? Why now? Your perfect girlfriend. Huh? That's the way you put it, right? With the fireworks? I have a feeling. That was about me, right? <laughs> And even though when she's around me, she always wears a smile. Ah! Uh, that! I! You! It's... That's... Well... She knows. I knew it. Of course she knows. But I get it. You couldn't stand seeing me in pain. So you made something up to make me feel better. An idealized version of me. But if I have it wrong... Then a lot of things change. <laughs> oh boy. This is... Oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna keep reading though. Yeah. Not to mention, Yaimori-san mentioned to me that you liked me as a woman. I know you two are close. So if you said that to her, I may have, you know, let slip that maybe you possibly sort of like Mizuhara-san. <laughs> The last time I asked you, you said no, but I have to consider my other clients' expectations and Ruka-chan's too. So I'm going to ask you one more time, straight out. I really do love Mizuhara. Moves her wine glass again. So, tell me, do you have feelings for me? I adore her. He grabs his beer. I want to tell her, but I couldn't possibly. The ultimate question returns. Next time, for the longest time. You don't have to wait the longest time, because I'm going to the next chapter. It all happens at Sizedia. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Anyway, last week. Do you have feelings for me? The ultimate question returns. How can Kazuya possibly express his feelings? <laughs> Chapter 174 The Girlfriend and the Confession Part 3 Miyajima Reiji A little lovesickness got you down? Nurse Sumi's on the job! <laughs> he broke his arm, I don't know how. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I've got a slice of hazelnut and a slice of chocolate cake. <laughs> Her face is like, what? What? You have what for me? Yeah. 
Enjoy! They're both in silence. This is, this is so awkward. Sorry that was out of nowhere. <laughs> of course you don't, right? Forget I asked. I'm going to the bathroom. Let's finish the cake and go. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. So she's just gonna leave like that? Like, that, 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 that's it? She ain't gonna say nothing? She's just gonna, she's gonna drop a bomb just like that? Like, wait, 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 what? Two hours later. Hmm. Come back anytime. Another few seconds. Size is always so good. And I probably would have told her. I'd have jumped up. And a hundred yen for a glass of wine? How do they even manage? And said, I want you, or something. She was giggly for most of it. But deep down, she was under control, huh? Ended up only drinking two glasses. I feel bad for him. Not that he didn't drink a lot of, you know, booze, but that he wasn't able to say what he wanted to say. She can really hold her liquor. Man, I kind of wanted to see her get sloppy. It would have been sort of funny. Hmm? <laughs> They're walking together. This is really cute. This is cute. Hey, there's something I've wanted to ask for a while now. Hmm? <laughs> Were you able to tell Grandma Sayuri? You know, about us? Ooh, she looks hurt. Oh, man, that facial expression. I don't, I don't know about that facial expression. Oh, she looks hurt. Oh, she looks so hurt. Oh, my gosh. All I want is for you to put yourself and your feelings first. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I tried, of course. But she said it didn't matter. If I wanted to tell her, she wanted to hear about it. And if I didn't want to, she didn't want to. <sighs> Once she said that, I guess, the moment had come and gone. Mizuhara. But I don't have any regrets. Honestly. Because of that, I agonized over it right up to the end. Would it be for my sake? Or for hers? You helped me see that too. I'm grateful to you. Hmm. But somehow, it's still hard for me to talk about. Huh? If we tell Grandma Nagomi the truth... And she finds out we lied to my grandma right up to the end. She'll look at us with contempt. That won't happen. I won't let it. Huh? All of this. It's my fault. I'll protect you. I swear I will. Ah. <laughs> How are you going to manage that? But anyway... It seems that for the two of us, things are back to the way they were. Huh? Until you can find yourself a fantastic girlfriend, I'll do everything I can as your rental girlfriend. Don't you remember? Hmm. Give it all you've got. If you don't find yourself the most wonderful girlfriend, I'll never forgive you. Alrighty. That's pretty much the way of it. How could I actually protect Mizuhara? I can't. Because to her, I'm just a client. Just a neighbor. I'm not her boyfriend. Not even close. That wasn't just talk. It absolutely wasn't. I really meant it. My perfect girlfriend. She's... Every single word. My perfect girlfriend. Is you! And maybe if I say this, you'll be upset with me, but for the longest time, I've been in love. Ah, there you are, Kazuya. What are you doing? G G Gibe! What are you doing here? We came to get you. We're gonna hit round one first. It's only two o'clock. You never mentioned that. We planned on drinks, remember? You were talking to someone just now? You're imagining things! No, no, I guess I, I wasn't. She, she's gone. I get it. She saw Kibe, and she ducked inside. She's hiding. Yeah! All that courage wasted. You're paying. This is on you. Come on, console me. 
What? Why? I don't want to tell you. The door's closed. Her purse is on the table. She's taking her sweater off. <sighs> she piles onto the mattress, face first on the covers. Do you have feelings for me? Of course you don't, right? Forget I asked. Hmm. That wasn't just talk. It absolutely wasn't. I meant it. Every single word. For the longest time, I've been in love. What's wrong with me? I'm so stupid. Oh, come on. I need to do something. Is this dude seriously crying? Guess he's going through puberty. Those rosy cheeks. Are they from the wine? Or something else? A new relationship enters our tale. Next time, Kibe and Mommy. Our boy, Kazia, finally has some courage. I almost cried there. I was, I was real close. I, I could do it now. I'm not gonna just like make myself cry. But <laughs> oh man, um, I think we're gonna have to do another arc review once this arc is over. We're on part three right now. I think it's gonna be necessary. Um, but for now. Without further ado. It's time. For that trash. I beat. Let's go. Beat.